Hi, it's Karen, the Weekend Craftaholic. And what I've decided to do for the end of this year and into next year is just do one haul video per month. Um, just because I tend to go local, pick up a few bits here, there, get stuff online, that all comes in at different times. So I don't do a whole heap of craft shopping anymore. Now I've got all my basics, my tools. So rather than do very short little haul videos, I thought I'd just amalgamate them all into one for the end of each month. So this is my first kind of um, craft shop of December. This was a local shop. So um, there is, first of all, I'll go through the stuff I got from Officeworks. So as you will know, my favorite refillable tape runner has been out of action for quite some time. And so I was able to pick up some refills from Officeworks. So I thought I'd grab three of those, which was all they had. Um, so that will keep me going. And the other thing I got while I was in office works, look at this, how cute is it? 15 centimetre rule of a little, little hole in as well, so I can just hang it off a hook. It was only 80 cents, Australian cents, so too cute not to put on my desk. So I thought I'd grab that. Um, so that's all I got from there. Now there is, um, the other shop I went to was the reject store here in Australia, and I just grabbed these two goodies because I managed to get myself a Cricut in the Black Friday sales. So I needed some transfer paper for when I do vinyl and I was told transfer paper is difficult to get locally um, to try basically buy these book covers. Now it isn't see-through so I do need to get some contact paper from Kmart but this time of year it will be crazy busy. So this was 75 cents from the reject store yes it's got pattern but it's really just to transfer vinyl so I'll give this a go for 75 cents that could be the bagging of the month and I also picked this up um, this is just a wide um, roller cellar tape tape dispenser let me use my new little ruler just short of five centimeters wide um, so again um, for tra doing transfers with vinyl so um, if I've not got anything that's too high I'll be able to use this just to catch the vinyl tear off the back and then put it in place um, so it was two dollars and then I went to this is why you'll see these little price stickers I went to my local scrapbook store which is called the love of scrap in Jindal in in Perth in Western Australia and I got myself some goodies so I'll start with the alcohol so you'll have seen if you saw my um, something old something new for November that I got myself a whole heap of alcohol ink, inks to bag in price on a D-stash. So I thought I would also get these mixatives to go with. So this is the rose gold and the silver. So I've not tried these yet because I only got these today. So with a lot of this stuff with the haul, I'm going to record it, collect it all, edit it at the end of the month because otherwise I put this stuff away and we'll never see it again. And to go with that, I got this alcohol ink blending pen um to play with so i'm not really sure how that's going to go but i will enjoy playing with that and i will report back and i was so pleased to see that they got this vellum adhesive so i love vellum but obviously things show through i've got loads of little vellum die cuts all that kind of stuff so it looks like this is refillable as well yes it is uh quite wide 8.4 millimeters um so we shall see how that goes with my vellum. Uh, I also picked up some Perfect Pearls. Um, this was $5. Now I must be honest, if in the scrapbook store, love a scrap, if you spend $30 you get a stamp and then when you get so many stamps you get $50 off products. So I normally make sure I round up to $30 and this was one of the things that I did. I rounded up to get a $30 sale um, and I got this pewter Perfect Pearls. I also got some more Nina. This is the Super Smooth Solar White Cardstock. You can see it was this 10 pack piece for $4. So that's going to be good for my Christmas cards. And for my Cricut machine, I also got these stencil sheets. Uh, low tack, reusable for again um, to try. I'm going to try and make my own stencils on the Cricut, which will be interesting. And that is my little haul for today. Hello, I'm back with another craft haul in December and this one I actually purchased a few months ago. This is a happy planner and this is what I'm hoping and planning to use for my project life for 2020. Now, the reason I ordered it so long ago and I've only got it 
today's because my daughter brought it back from the UK. I ordered it from a UK website. It was a lot cheaper over there than it is in Australia. And you can see this is the large one. So this is like an A4-ish size. And I'll do a little bit more detail on this when I do my Project Life plans for 2020. Um, I did start embellishing for January and then realised um, I should really do a whole video. So I've started already planning out the month for January. I've got a couple of birthdays in there, my own and my son's. Um, and I've just been using some sticker books to embellish these. But rather than talk about that now, I just wanted to show you. This is one of the things that I've got and probably one of the things I'm most excited about of doing some memory keeping in a very different way for 2020. So stay tuned if you want to see more about that. But today I've been to Spotlights. This is a local store in Australia. And um, I got a gift voucher from Secret Santa from work, which was a spotlight voucher, which was what I requested, which was amazing. And um, I also got some, um, some Christmas money as well um, that my daughter brought over for me from my parents. So with some of the money that I got given, I went out and went a little bit crazy at Spotlight. Um, not spent it all yet but I did get some good bargains. I had a 20% off voucher and they were also doing some 30% off store wide gifts. So let me show you what I got. A lot of it is obviously cricket themed because of my new toy, my new favourite toy. I promise I won't be a cricket boy in the coming year. But I got myself a knife blade and the reason I got the knife blade and quickly move some of this stuff over. I also got some of this faux suede is because I wanted to start, I've got some leather, I wanted to make little purses, that kind of thing. So I also got myself a strong mat, these were 20% off. So these three things are a little bundle if you like, because now that I've got these three things, I'm hoping I can start to, um, like I say, make some little purses, some leather covered notebooks, that kind of thing. Along with that, I then also got these goodies because I have been loving seeing what people are doing online with this. And I thought with some of the leather purses and whatnot, I could monogram, gram, monogram them. Um, so I just got this little pack, starter pack to keep me going. This was only $6 and there's um, quite a lot in there. So I may go back actually and get some more as it was a, it was a bit of a bargain. Um, for that just to go with this and again this was a great discount so I'm really pleased to finally get that just as a side note my whole videos in the coming months are definitely going to include a lot of quill products because I have seen what's coming soon on scrapbook.com oh my god they have got the etch quill they've got um, fabric quill they've got blue quill there's so many different quills coming out soon so this is a great time to be a cricket owner I have to say um, I don't know if they're compatible with all Cricut machines or just the maker, I've, I'm no idea, but um, super excited to be doing lots of crafting in the new year with that. So that's why I got the fold quill. Now, the other thing I did get was lots of goodies from Go Press and Foil. So if you've not seen these before, these are from Couture Creations, I believe. And yes, they are. And they are amazing. I've already got a huge collection of them um, but I love them I've got my go press and form machine I've got a couple of videos on that which I'll link as well if you've not seen those yet super simple to use um, I just use it all the time in card making um, I don't do a lot of card making videos because I, I don't get much views on those so I tend not to post them but I do make a lot of homemade cards with foils and these are just the perfect size and the, the range of colors is amazing um, they really do go a long way so these were also on sale so I grabbed another five of those and then the last thing I got was some of some new cardstock so this is from DCWV again it was on sale 30% off I'll give you a quick flip because it's it's kind of it's the smoother glitter paper if that makes sense rather than the really textured one and I just love some of the colours in here. And again, because I've got my Cricut Maker now, I'm feeling I'm going to do a lot more glittery things on my cards and so on, and my layouts, because I can now cut out my lettering. I mean, look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, um, yeah, it worked out like a dollar a sheet. I think it was about $23 the pad that I paid for. So, 
so a good bag in again so yeah so i got me some cricket goodies got some new tools to go with that as well as some more foiling stuff which i need to replenish my stock with so overall a great haul um and very blessed that none of it actually cost me anything because it was early christmas presents to myself um from money and gift vouchers that i got just wanted to quickly show you some of the goodies I got from Amazon. This is transfer paper from my Cricut Maker. Um, there was 25 sheets in this, 12 by 12. It's all gridded, super strong. Um, I love the fact that it's flat and not in a tube because it's going to be great in my Alex drawers. And I think it was, it was $15 um, Australian dollars, which I think is a bargain compared to the Cricut stuff itself. Um, so quickly wanted to share that with you. The other goodies I got from Amazon is i've not opened this yet this is this heat transfer vinyl htv so i've not had a chance to use that yet i know i should probably stick with the original cricut products but as i'm a beginner i'm quite happy to use cheaper products because i know it's going to be a lot of fails along the way i'm not expecting perfection to begin with and again i love the fact that it's flat and not in a tube and i also got these printable sheets as well so um again for my Cricut maker so I've ordered I've got the glossy ones I've also ordered some matte ones which haven't arrived yet and again these were a really good price point so I should be having fun with those the other thing I got from Amazon yes I have gone a little Amazon crazy this month I did get one month of Amazon Prime free and I've absolutely made the most of it whilst um the delivery the postage is free on getting myself some goodies from America that normally would be too expensive to post so I was very quick and hasty in filling this up so I hope you can see um, this is actually from Express It I'll, I'll put a link below I'll just take one of these layers off there's one two three four five. there's six of these little trays that all sit on top of each other and as you can see they it's a it's marker storage and this is clear um, there's a little bit of this section here for you to Put your pens nicely organized as you can see that i've done they just keep in place and this is great for me because a lot of my storage i prefer to store my markers horizontal rather than vertical um just because of you know personal preference i guess more than anything um so it's great having these products these little slim ones i can fit actually four if i wanted to in each of the little sections and these were the wider sections probably i can only fit one but um, I'm loving having it on my desk. I think it holds 72 or 92. I can't remember. Um, I've still got some empty spaces as well to grow into. And um, it's a great addition to my desk. And this haul is from Spotlight. I actually made two different visits because you'll have seen in my earlier clip that um, I bought lots of goodies to make some leather purses on my Cricut Maker and then realized the leather, the knife blade that I got needed the housing. So I thought I could just put it in the other housing unit I got, but no, I needed it. It needs its own drive housing, which is this. Um, I had to go to two different craft stores because the Junilup store where I am didn't have it in stock. So then I had to go to Butler. Um, makes no sense if you're not familiar with Western Australia, but it was probably a 20, 30 minute drive, which is a bit of a pain. But the good side of it is I got some extra goodies that weren't available in the June Lux store. So I'll talk you through those. So it was 20% off, so I don't feel too bad. Um, and I've got my replacement blade ready because, of course, I did open it, tried to use it. So I couldn't take that back. But that's all good. I believe these run out pretty quick. So whilst I was trying to find that, the first thing I got were these. These were $4.00. Um, and I went for the multicolour pack because I've seen a lot of people using crepe paper now to make kind of ribbon effects as they're sewing. Um, I saw Dealey D, not checked her channel out, check it out, she's amazing. Dealey D does lots of layouts and that kind of thing. And she used some of this in, to back one of her embellishments, which I really love. Um, but I've seen a lot of people on Instagram using it and stitching it and then putting little die cut pieces across. So I thought this would be good with all the different colour pieces in one same time i also got this tissue paper i know it's just tissue paper but again perfect for my december daily color and again i can back some of my photos with that to give some texture without adding too much bulk um i also got this was ridiculous but i got three of these these were only two dollars each and um absolutely perfect for blanks as we call them in the cricketing world yes i've been pitching lots and lots of cricket 
videos so it did say to keep a stock of blanks and when these were only two dollars each i thought these would be perfect i'm going to personalize them as gifts this one was a little bit more expensive because this is more of a kind of a suede effect i love it um and it's got grid lines as well so i'm going to try and use it as my bit of creative journaling for next year instead of uh, my junk journal because that's full now and i'm just gonna again do some practice on my cricut maker and put my little logo on the front and yes that was the only thing i got from that first haul then i went to the second shop and i bought up some of these and i already got some of these from weeks ago which were these silver this sorry the white and the gold ones they were i think six dollars originally these were reduced to two dollars um yes oh sorry they were five dollars each you know the colors are very christmasy i don't really like these kind of christmas colors i'll be honest but i think for two dollars i could use them separately and again similar effect to the crepe paper i felt i could cut them in strips and ruche them up do some stitching and they'd be great as well on some die cuts the other thing i got was this um it's plastic leather pleather as we call it this is the copper color and this was reduced to four dollars i think so i thought again this would be great to practice on on the cricket machine with my knife blade the other thing i got from my cricket maker is this scoring stylus this was reduced to eleven dollars normally 16. i also got this this was four dollars um, I'm loving black and white, I have to say, monochrome. So you can see this is six by six pad. It's got heaps of different black and white basic pattern paper, which again, is gonna have lots of different uses. So I think I scored a bag in with that. 48 pages, 24 designs, so that's good. This was another bag in, this was $3, can you believe? It's got 15 different sheets, quite thick cardstock, glitter, matte, and then the mirror as well. So I think I bagged a bag in with that. And then just some basic glue. I keep seeing people use the big pots of craft glue in their fine liner bottles. I've got fine liner bottles, not had much success. So I thought I'd try again because the adhesive glue that I'm using, and I do absolutely love this, but for $10 and it's running out already so quick. Well, I say so quick, I've had it probably about six months. This was $4, obviously quite a lot more in it I think it's gonna be worth a try because this was half the price if it doesn't work it's fine I'll be able to use it somewhere else so that oh sorry and uh, I nearly forgot machine needles so I thought maybe I should buy these because of the leather for when I'm sewing up the purse so that was my haul hey thanks for watching if you've got any comments about this video please leave them below I'd love to see them and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like that way YouTube knows to recommend similar ones for you and finally, if you'd like to see more from me, and I hope so, please subscribe by clicking the link below. I post new content every weekend.